When we look at about the gallbladder anatomy, so there are the two hepatic duct. One is, is the right and then is the left. Because of lobes also two, the right and left, there are the two hepatic ducts are coming and joining together that duct to be called as a hepatic, common hepatic duct. So once that will come entering to the cystic duct where which we call as a communicating to the gallbladder, right? So the gallbladder is the maximum hollow organ. Sometimes as per the traditional Chinese medicine, this to be called as a solid organ as well. Since the maximum capacity, capacity of the bile secreted by the liver maximum 1 liter in a day, so that partially is stored in the gallbladder after getting the concentration. So that fluid accumulated, that bile is stored in the gallbladder. The gallbladder also divided into three parts. The first part is the fundus, the second part is the body and third part to be known as a neck. Where the neck is communicating to the cystic duct. So the duct is again it is descending on the downwards direction which we call as a common bile duct which to be considered as a hepatic duct and then cystic duct joining together to form the one duct, the duct known as a common bile duct. When you look at that descends the downwards direction which is communicating to the small intestine is the upper part, that part to be known as a duodenum. So before the duodenum there is a one more duct is communicating to the common bile duct, that duct to be called as a pancreatic duct. Right? So therefore this both together is joining on the duodenum that we call as a ampulla, the hepatopancreatic junction called as a ampulla. Right? So therefore when we look at about this is the ramification and this is the branches of the arteries and duct which is communicating to form the gallbladder. So this gallbladder majorly the physiological aspect when we look at that this bile is essential to regulate the fatty substances in our body to promote the digestion in our body especially the fatty substances can be taken place through the hepatic system. When we understand the people who consume the greasy food, oily food then when we look at about the meat, the protein excessive intake. So all these things are in commonly to be taken place by the bile which is stored in the gallbladder. So maximum it is in fact when we look at about the concentrating. So if in the neck region if there is the more concentrated calcification will form so that to be known as a the gallbladder stones. Especially the gall stones which is accumulated in the in the cystic duct when there is not much harmful to the body. When the gallbladder stones are existing on the body so that also not harmful to the body. At the same time when this bile uh, which is stored in here so will get more concentration sometimes it form in the form of the calcification or stones that will form on the CBD which we call as a common bile duct. So when this stones gets obstruction in the common, common bile duct which coming from the gallbladder common cystic duct to the common bile duct then there is a chances are they to causes the problem and also the patient feel intermittently or constantly dull pain because of their the stones getting the expanded and uh, that get the compression to the, the cystic duct or the common bile duct which leads to the pain sensation on the upper part of the right side of the abdomen which leads to this problem right at the same time when this cholelithiasis when the stones colo lithiasis so this is nothing but is a stone formation inside the gallbladder which uh, causes the pain. At the same time when we see that 5 mm to 7 mm certainly that can be chances are they not to go for the surgery even how the lithotripsy to be done for the renal stones in the similar way sometimes need to be done the lithotripsy for the gallbladder stones also if it is greater than amount is located and multiples are located in the CBD duct. Right. So when we understand there is a small amount of the stones are existing in the gallbladder. So that time, so we need not to do the surgery and sometimes most of the times that dissolve on their own, sometimes it is medical treatment is essential. When we understand when there is the larger amount is there, of course is the mandatory to do the surgery. At the same time when it is a small amount of 5 to 6, 7, 8 mm stones are there, certainly we can you know, uh, you know refine to do for the lithotripsy or any 
any kind of the surgery because of the complementary and traditional and alternative medicine having the solution so what in general it happen once the stones get formation in the in this particular region that descends on the common bile duct then through that chances are they to dissolve and break down that passes to the duodenum that area called as the small intestine you remember when it entered to the small intestine then chances are there from the jejunum to jejunum ileum from the ileum it passes to the colon large intestine from the large intestine chances are there to evacuate and eliminate that stones through the bowel system in that way the re kidney you know gall bladder stones also can be can be removed at the same time there are the certain acupuncture points which having the more contraction and relaxation and also some vibration to be given to the gall bladder once we will provide the electrical stimulation by activating the certain points so we will look into that what are the points to be good to treat for the gall bladder stones not only the gall bladder organ there are the other organs also supporting to the gall bladder which will be useful to treat for the gall stones as well right so these are the general information regarding this at the same time when uh, as per the traditional chinese medicine when we understand there are the so many diseases related to the mind constitution diseases which we call as a the confusion status and could not able to take the proper decision on the right time and the creativity thinking is very poor even this condition when the person is could not able to you know analyze the things in properly at the same time could not able to do the judgment even that condition and also the gall bladder of course there is another supportive organ called as a small intestine together having the ability to take the proper decision when the person who have the you know panic conditions or the kind of the you know frustrations irritations at the same time he could not able to take the decision even that time so certainly we can use there are the two meridians in generally which we call as a the tino intestinal meridian or we known as a small intestine organ at the same time gall bladder organ together is essential to bring down the or to regulate our thought process or emotional process at the same time you understand we feel that to take the right decision on the right time when the people today so so many people when we look at about the psychosomatic diseases there the people could not able to take the decisions on the right time even that conditions can be regulated when the patient is confusion status to bring down to the normal state remember that there are the two organs that organs are called as a small intestine and then gall bladder but however points also you can understand there are the two points i can suggest you here to activate and to regulate our thought process and intellectuality and cognitive functions but those points to be called as a is the young ku point so that point called as a small intestine 5 the another point called as a foot linchy that point is now as is gall bladder 41 so both together called as a horary point of these two organs are in house points of the organ are the self points of that particular meridian certainly this will boost our you know overall intellectuality in order to understand in the better in the analytical way right when we look at the image as i mentioned there are the 1 liter of the bile is secretes by the liver and it remains in the gall bladder bile become more concentrated in the gall bladder right so in the gall bladder there is a hormone called as a cck that's called as a cholecystokinin right so this triggers the dilatation of the hepatopancreatic sphincter and the concentration of you know contraction of the gall bladder this ejects the bile into the duodenum where from the small intestine is the original place to do the digestion you know precisely right when we look at about the in the lumen of the digestive tract the bile salts break the lipid droplets you know apart by the emulsification or the lipid digestion to be exactly taken place with the support of the one hormone the hormone called as a cck cholecystokinin right so the major physiology of the gall bladder is concentration of the bile by absorption of the water release of the stone bile at the same time as i mentioned muscle wall of the gall bladder contract by the hormone called as a cholecystokinin and bile is secreted into the duodenum if this hormone is not functioning properly you understand the cck hormone when the people says i don't get the proper digestion so whenever i take the greasy food or meat food or maybe the animal food so that time the digestion could not taken place precisely or the oily food or fried items or junk food so this and all to be taken place by the cck when this hormone is not 
released by the gall bladder to the duodenum then the duodenum and the small intestine cannot absorb the pure nutrition which we have taken in the form of the food so therefore that is the key where the proper digestion is not to be taken place you understand when the cholecystectomy to be done which we called as a the removal of the gall bladder to be done due to some conditions in that condition most of the people they are sufferer they do have like a you know acidity on gastric related issues and whatever they wanted to selective food to be taken they cannot take all the food at a time all the food you know that could not able to get the digestion precisely in that condition you understand way the cholecystokinin is not functioning in the gall bladder in order to absorb and you know release this bile for the you know absorption and also for the digestion so this could be the reason when you understand the when the cholecystectomy done already so in that condition all the burden whatever the gall bladder physiology is there that burden on the you know especially on the liver itself liver should take care all the you know functions of the gall bladder when we understand about the the physical health related issues like the husband and wife together joining together at the same time to do the work and activities precisely when there is the when there is no wife is there all the burden on the husband or vice versa in the similar way the maximum energy so which is functioning because of the gall bladder is the major role from the top to bottom the head to toes there are the numerous physiological functions which is existing as per the traditional medicine so therefore all those related issues the headache conditions the muscle cramps conditions are the people who are suffering for the you know burning sensation in anywhere in the body you remember the retino you know neuropathic conditions or maybe certain you know neuralgia conditions where the burning sensation is there tingling sensation is there the reason also the gall bladder is one among them emulsifies the fat water soluble form converts the bile the excretion of the bilirubin that red blood corpuscles destroys so where wherever it breaks down especially the red blood corpuscles it gives the major pigment the pigmentation which we call as a hemoglobin pigment so that gives the color to the blood so that red blood corpuscles breaks in the liver and the bone marrow and then spleen you remember that red blood corpuscles because of the bone marrow i'll talk about the bone marrow when talk about that particular point so therefore red blood corpuscles is always essential to break up in the liver and then especially the you know spleen and bone marrow that's the reason there are the three places in generally along with this is the kidney so synthesis of the blood to be taken place by the this these are the four special organs major vasculature is nothing but is the supply of the artery to the gall bladder which we call as a cystic artery supplies to the gall bladder it is the branch of the hepatic artery at the same time the venous system is the cystic vein where the unwanted blood is drawn out through the vein called as a cystic vein right the gall bladder innervation which we called as a sympathetic sympathetic which called as a celiac plexus that is known as the abdominal plexus or abdominal vessels which supplies to the gall bladder at the same time the parasympathetic branch of the vagus nerve the sensory sympathetic which we called as a fiber fibers from the phrenic now referred pain to the right shoulder area which we called as a c3 to c5 which we now as a is the phrenic now remember multiple times i told you that there is the right shoulder pain and left shoulder pain in fact all the shoulder pains are not the same you remember shoulder pains are numerous reason to cause the pain but however i wanted to highlight you there are the general pain on the right shoulder then you understand that belongs to the gall bladder because of the phrenic now which is the coming from the c3 to c5 now so which is descends on the downwards direction and passing to the splenic muscle and trapezius muscles so it causes the pain there is the one alarm point on the right shoulder of the gall bladder that called as a chian ching so that point is gall bladder 21 so once you give the pressure on the you know upper trapezius so then patient feels the much pain on this region to cause the because of you understand there is a phrenic now is affected which leads to the right shoulder pain at the same time you remember that the patient complains about the pain on the intercostal region especially on the hypochondriac region latissimus dorsi muscles pain so that indicates that purely related to the gall bladder deficiency or the gall bladder excessiveness leads to that problem so therefore it is ideally the right side gall you know pain of the shoulder treat 
for by using the gallbladder meridian when we look at about the left shoulder pain so that pain due to there are the two organs are incorporated here the one is the spleen is the reason to cause the pain on the left shoulder at the same time remember below the intercostal region where the where the you know intercostal is uh, four five six intercostal spaces the pain is there on the sixth and seventh intercostal space then you remember there is a problem is on the spleen malfunction which leads to the problem of the pain on the left shoulder at the same time the lungs deficiency or the excessiveness also causes the pain on the left shoulder region so therefore you remember whenever there is the right right side that you understand that called as a phrenic now is also the reason to cause the pain right so now is a simple way already i told you about the cholelithiasis cholelithiasis this is not n this is a right the stone formation that is intent polyki pain and you know cramps and uh, it comes and disappear also the stones are there are the two types of the stones which we call as a the cholesterol gall stones and pigmented gall stones but however stones are stones but that to be you know dissolved by activating certain points cholecystitis this means inflammation of the cystic duct so murphy sign so we called as a, if there is a pain on the right shoulder which we call as a murphy sign whereas the pain on the left shoulder this is as a you know rio sign something r i h h i n i believe so that is a sign of the left shoulder pain right then cholecystitis common bile duct obstruction right so if this colo doco lithiasis colo means colo doco means is the common bile duct and lithiasis means is the stone when there is if you leave like that only the gall bladder stones even in future chances are there it causes the icterus icterus is nothing but is the yellow jaundice so because of we should not leave that if there is the bile that's the reason we normally see by using the ultrasound scan so if the gall bladder stones are only existing in the gall bladder itself and there is not much harmful we can deny the treatment for some period of time when there is a cbd is clear or unclear if the cbd is the common bile duct is clear then you understand you are partially safe when the cbd got obstruction of the stones then you understand in future it leads to the you know jaundice as well or the pancreatic jaundice or the you know hepatic jaundice etc so therefore we should be taken the care to treat this kind of the condition the bile is secreted by the liver passes to the gall bladder duodenum so it backs to the liver when you understand there is the biliary duct is there the pathway of the biliary pathway so that pathway get the obstruction it gets the rebellions of the chi which we call as a, the a counter clock a counter direction the bile is passed again in the opposite direction that leads to the jaundice in fact right 